in a marriage too you got to remember to take time for yourself and fill up your own cup because you can't fill up his cup if your cup is empty hey guys welcome back to my channel it's all that jazz we're on the road to 1k so go ahead and join today by clicking that red subscribe button today i just wanted to talk real quick about like becoming a wife and that journey and like just kind of discuss what i think people should know before becoming a wife and i think that he who finds a good thing finds y'all know what i'm trying to say he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor boom that's what it was in the bible i couldn't remember before you become a wife or you're like on the journey to like i'm done with being single or like what does it take to be a wife first of all i didn't know that it took things to be wife. not just playing like whatever season you're in you're being prepared if that's something you desire and it is something you do have to prepare yourself for in multiple ways i think becoming a wife is a great great thing and i would never ever change it at all like i love it it's exciting and it keeps you productive you are like someone's partner you know so now you're responsible for not only yourself but also responsible for your husband in different ways i think it depends on the type of man that you do end up with or that you have there should be a lot of things discussed before becoming a wife like what does he expect out of you what do you expect out of him because mostly people kind of just talk about finances so of course you need to know are you guys on the same page financially are you guys on the same page like emotionally and mentally when things get rough and tough and like life hits you both of you or life hits one of you like how will you handle it and that's in finding you a significant other anyway but becoming a wife means like 50 percent less self fish like it's no longer like okay what do i want to do like a lot of your decisions will depend on your husband and just the same for him a lot of his decisions will depend on you and y'all have to make a joint decision multiple days and sacrifices and you know come to conclusions i feel like being a wife has like taught me to become more like working on being more feminine y'all know being like becoming soft and being feminine is like a huge thing right now like on social media if you guys are like on tiktok or youtube even being feminine is like something that i never thought of like it's not anything that i really crossed my mind but as i watch videos and things of that nature i'm like wow like you are submitting you have to submit to your husband and not just in like the way that everybody thinks like submission is like you need to cook for him you need to clean for him or you like anything physical it's not just that it's submitting to him in like a softer way and like approaching how you handle things like being a wife truly does change you like people just be like oh I became a wife and like everything is the same but really it's the same in which you guys are still the same person so you don't get married and it's like oh i'm a whole new person like you're still the same person but now you're growing you're choosing to grow with someone else you're choosing to say that no matter what happens no matter what goes down i'm here for you you're here for me you're choosing to say that i'm gonna ride for you you're gonna ride for me you're choosing to say that I got your back at the end of the day no matter how mad you make me no matter how sad i make you no matter how upset we are at the end of the day we still got each other's back can't nobody can't nobody break that like it should be inseparable we should always be and it's always a growth thing so you know like when you first start from a relationship you like oh like i love you blah 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 da, da, da. but then when you get married it's like like you don't want to get caught up in just life as me and him have said before in our video like we try and are working on like continuously being intentional with the time we spend each with each other because y'all it seems like when you get married and plus when you have kids like life speeds up or maybe that's just when you turn 25 life just speeds up um and so then you have to be like whoa like take a step back like we both really like dang we finna hit 30 you know like we got like a year or two before we both hit 30 and is being we always use this word intentional being intentional with the time we spend with each other and like doing mental check-ins and doing emotional check-ins because we can get caught up in just like pushing forward like yeah that's hubby that's wife um i think one cool thing that i like about being a wife is if i'm like giving information and they say like last my last name i'm like oh i am that like that is me you know i think that's like super cute but becoming a wife means like changing together growing together and wanting to go in the same direction and like setting future goals that include you and him or whoever your significant other is it includes you know 
what do we see our future as like what not just what do i see my future as or what do you want to do what do i want to do it's like what do we see how where do we want to be financially where do we want to be like mentally where do we want to be like do we want to be in a home in five years or do we want to have like traveled the world in five years whether you have kids or not do we want to be um encouraging other each other to grow spiritually and it's helping each other get to the place that you want to get to and supporting them no matter what like i do appreciate about our marriage that we support each other as long as it's not negative and silly but like we'll support each other no matter what like i know for me i change my mind all the time and no matter it, what it is that i do he'll always just be like that's what you want to do all right i got you i'm with you I'm, I'm i'm right behind you you know what i mean and then same for him even though our views might not always be the same there's things that he does that I'm like, all right, I got you 100%. And we do have to have hard conversations and we do have to like come back into reality and like pull each other back into each other or be like, hey, like, wait, like we're getting, we're falling back into the emotion of life. Like, okay, go to work, go to bed, go to sleep, you know? So we have to pull each other back. And I think, but we're, we're conscious of it. We're very conscious of our marriage. We're very conscious of like where we wanted to go and how we wanted to be, especially for our children. Like as they grow up to see like mommy and daddy in love, like we want them to see that love and then like a healthy home and not toxicity. Like it doesn't mean we're going to be perfect or that we're never, ever going to have any issues or anything like that but I think becoming a wife that too being it you have to be learn how to be like a little bit more feminine like I'm not saying that I'm like masculine woman that's like crazy like wilding out like loving hip-hop ready to fight a female like that's not me I'm very chill anyway but I did have learned and I'm still learning like oh you gotta be a little bit like more on the feminine side like less aggressive and even most men like the way you talk to them or the way you approach them or handle things you do have to say it with a specific tone like working on things like that um becoming a wife does entail you fulfill or you pick up in the areas that he lacks and then he does the same thing for you I think people kind of get confused where it's like okay you're a wife like you're supposed to do this this and that for him and don't forget did you do this for him did you do that for him but it's not only about fulfilling his needs but it's about him fulfilling your needs so that you guys can work together equally also in a marriage too you got to remember to take time for yourself and fill up your own cup because you can't fill up his cup if your cup is empty you know like you can't be drained and like not have energy and you're just like blah 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 like and if he notices that and he's like the man that's like, okay, what's going on? Where do I need to pick up? That's where he steps in and say like, okay, I see she's like stressing out. Let me pick where she lacks. And same for me. I have to see where is he um, seeming to be stressed, stressed out or where is he kind of like losing that energy? Like where can I pick up his slack? I think it's just a matter of understanding when you become a wife, the sacrifices and the love and um the attention and all of that like but just you have to remember to pour into yourself so you can pour into each other i think also becoming a wife is i think it's a matter of wanting wanting things to work and that's just marriage off the board off the back but becoming a wife means i am here to like uplift this man as he is to uplift me just have his back at the end of the day sometimes that's all they need as men like they just want to know like somebody's in their corner they just want to know you know at the end of the day i got somebody to come home to that's gonna love on me and cherish me and i feel needed and wanted and loved and supported and you gotta you have to boost your man's ego too like that's another thing i've learned as a wife like you gotta you gotta stroke their ego you have to make them just like you want them to call you beautiful and you want them to to treat you out and cherish you you have to do the exact same thing to them not on in a fake way but just like boost them you have to boost them as well i'm learning that as a wife too and it's just a lot that i've learned over the past two years of being and becoming a wife that like when i first did it we were like nothing's really different nothing's changed but we know that biggest change happened when we when we had kids that was really like a like a whoa that was a huge transition for us um and we're still like moving through that and like navigating the worlds of having children but outside of that when we first got married we were just like oh this is nothing like it's just like being in a relationship but somehow some way you know life start is getting life 
life doesn't go away life doesn't get easier but i won't say life gets harder either it's not that it's just that you're doing this thing called life together if you found this video helpful or you know you're soon to be wife or you're like in your single season and you're thinking about like i'm interested in being a wife like what does it take you know comment questions below i'm not saying i'm out here a professional wife i'm still learning i'm still growing but i do think that it's something that is um not really talked about often like it's something that people are just like oh you're gonna get married but like like no that, like that's a big deal like it's gonna change your friendships not in a bad way it's just like you, you have to devote your time to your husband or your family like it's just a new it's a new transition or journey in your life that your old ways will probably change for the better hopefully you know most of the time it's like wherever he's at you're gonna be depending on like your work situation or whatever but it's just he's a part of you and you're a part of him and so y'all have to y'all represent each other whether that's like with the family or without and so that's why i tell him to like when we're all out talking or like we go somewhere and it's not to say like we care about what people think but we represent each other so we have to um exemplify or show in like a good family ideal we cannot hear be out here like wilding out in public and like yelling at each other or like you know like scratching up car like i don't know just doing crazy stuff like we we have to represent each other well because our name and our family like it holds weight and we're passing that down it's important to leave a a, a good legacy for our children to be a good example for those around us because people are always watching but anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure you comment below thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye